Disclosure. Clickbait title worked. So a lot of people trying to make beef, saying me and Bean 8's got issues with each other. Mobile Drama was tweeting about it. And then a bunch of people were tweeting at me, messaging me, and they're like, Oh, dude, I heard Bean 8's came on the channel and called you out for your last upload and blah, 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 blah. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Plus, I've done a little more research on the update, and I will talk about that. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video raging about the Modern Combat 5 Spring Update. I need to give some background. That video was a direct stream cut. It was live, uncut, raw. I had been playing the game, the, the update. I had not played the update previously. I was figuring it out as I was streaming, and then I had a little rage moment, and I uploaded the rage. I've got some clarification on a couple of things, so we're going to get a little bit more into depth about what this update actually is. I'm going to talk about b -Nate's perspective as well. Let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do, hopefully b -Nate's is okay with this, I'm going to read part of a direct message because me and b -Nate's were DMing back and forth on Twitter, and this is what he writes. I'm only going to read part of it. It says, the point of the update was to reward players for playing, and so they did. The weapon upgrades does not reset your character or whatever. It's intended to combat... People with armor, that's why weapons seem better now, so you don't lose anything going into the update. You only gain. People get packs every game, or parts, or whatever, and it's good in that sense. Since what's bad is the explosives overhaul that's going on right now, and then he talks a little bit about the matchmaking and some other stuff. And he is right. In the Rage video, it was me figuring out for the first time. I didn't fully understand it. I get it now. So if you have a pro weapon, that means you go to MK1. If you don't have a pro weapon, you start at MK0, and then you have to work at upgrading your weapon. So we all start on the same even playing field, right? And like you're seeing on the screen here, you use these weapon parts to upgrade your weapons. So basically, if you have a tier 7 weapon, you can upgrade that weapon 7 times. MK1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, by collecting parts and all these weapon upgrades. Now, as you upgrade your weapon... Like B-Nades points out, you do get a lot of armor penetration. So basically, you know all the new armors that came out that nerfed a lot of the weapons? Well, if you upgrade your weapon, your weapon's no longer nerfed. Now what this does, actually, uh, I was talking to a couple other players who are really big in the game, very analytical, is it makes the Sasser, the LGR, and the Red, which was nerfed a bunch of times, they're no longer nerfed. They're, they're back to what they used to be. Sasser's back to a one-shot if you have it fully upgraded and those things. Also, with the upgrade, you can get things like better accuracy, um, stuff like that. Just different statistics for the weapons get improved. So, yes, we do all start on the same playing field. So, I do agree with BNETs there. Okay, that makes sense. We start on the same playing field. He also says in there that the reward system, you do get more rewards at the end of matches. That's also true. You do get more rewards at the end of matches um, than ever before, but it does take quite a bit to upgrade these weapons to fully max them out. In fact, in the Rage video, you see me spend $25 worth of credits, and I can't even get the PR-39 to an MK3. I can only upgrade it from an MK1 to an MK2, so it does take a lot to upgrade these weapons. I don't really like tiered weapons. Afterpulse does the same thing, where you've got tiered weapons. you got, like, a one-star weapon to a seven-star weapon, and the people with higher tiered weapons wreck. Supposedly, the MK7s aren't that much more powerful than the MK1. I'm not sure. Time will tell. Um, also, the other thing, the blueprint thing. We didn't talk about that in the Rage video. I think that makes it really tough for new players because before you were able to unlock weapons by simply playing the game with, say, Heavy Class, you would go through. You would just play Heavy Class, and as you progressed in Heavy Class, you would unlock all the weapons. Now, with this, you have to get blueprints. Blueprints are hard to find. You find them in crates, and you have to collect enough blueprints in order to unlock a weapon. So I think new players, or if you're trying to grind for a weapon, it's going to be difficult to get the new weapons with this new blueprint system. Let's talk real quick about this new skill-based matchmaking system. I ran a poll on Twitter, had over 200 responses. It was split about 50-50 with some liking it, some not. What my guess is, the noobs like it, the pros don't. Because the noobs now play with the noobs and the pros play with the pros. Or should I say, the high level players play with the high level players. Which means, as you can tell from this gameplay, you end up seeing a lot of explosives, a lot of LGRs, this type of thing. Because level 120s, man, they're just tryhards. They are. Level 120s are typically tryhards. So, for me, I, I do like it because it's helped me get better at the game, playing with the pros. But at the same time, it is frustrating going against all the explosive damage. What I think they should do is have two game modes. Casual, where you just play a normal lobby like every other game. And then a ranked mode where you play people of your own level. That would, I think, solve the problem for a lot of people. All right, now we're going to get into some more technical aspects of the update. We're going to get analytical here. If you find this stuff boring, feel free to stop the video. But I think most of you will be very interested to hear this. 
I find it very interesting. I like to look at this type of stuff. Now, I got this information from somebody who I respect in the community. This kid is, I shouldn't say kid, this this guy is very uh, very smart, very analytical, very knowledgeable the, about the game. His name is Haxor. He does have a YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link him in the description. So what he was telling me is with the weapon upgrade thing, it ruined all the gun nerfs they did. So now if you have a fully upgraded boss, it has super fire rate and accuracy. Even more than the pro version had before, the pro version had a lot less accuracy than a fully upgraded boss under the new system. E24 can now one-shot players again. Uh, LGR ignores armor, so instead of doing 70 damage, it does about 90 damage. And then, once you get to MK4, it becomes really difficult to upgrade your weapon. Because to upgrade your weapon past MK4, you need these things called perfect packs, which hardly drop. In an elite pack, you get them about 10% of the time. They're very, very difficult to get we already talked a little bit about the blueprints but to be specific if you have a tier 7 weapon that you're trying to unlock you need 25 blueprints now you only get one blueprint per pack and so just think about that you need 25 blueprints it's going to be very difficult to unlock those tier 7 weapons and just to counter what some people may say they may say no dude lgr still nerfed e24 sasser still nerfed no no you don't know what you're talking about no when you upgrade these things, you get down. Like, for example, let's just talk about LGR. LGR gets a range um, upgrade. Also, damage penetration. So, that does a lot more damage. Red had a range nerf before. Man, remember when Red wrecked? In fact, I have a Red Rage video that has like 250,000 views because this gun got nerfed like three times. Well, now you can upgrade it. Um, you get more damage and range and armor penetration with Red. So, I'm sure we're going to see a comeback with the Red. E24 gets a fire rate bonus. Plus a damage bonus, plus armor penetration, so it one-shot kills again, even if you have armor. So that's a really in-depth analysis, probably more than you've heard ever on this update and what it actually means. This is the MC5 Spring Update 2016. I do want to counter one more thing. A lot of people saying, oh, Chase hates this game, he hates this game. Do you know how many times I have raged at a game called Responables, yet I still play it? I like games. Okay, everybody right now is raging in Clash Royale. Let all you guys are still playing two hours a day, but you're raging. So, it's okay to rage from time to time and be frustrated with updates. Doesn't mean the whole game is bad. I will still keep playing this game. I like the game. For games that are released in the App Store, this is the best first-person shooter. That may change as other games get released in the App Store, but right now, I truly believe that. Alright, guys. Hope you liked the video. Take care. Peace.